everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I clear out my uh, my uh, closet. Cleaning up my closet, my wardrobe, closet, same thing. By closet, wardrobe, I generally mean all of my clothes. Right, alrighty ho. As you might know, I am very guilty of owning a lot of clothes. Um, I'm gonna be really fucking frank with you, okay? Because this is my job, YouTubing, blogging is my thing, and I am, you know, predominantly a fashion and beauty blogger. The job description, in a way, that I have a lot of clothes because, you know, I, I need to style up things for blog posts, for videos, I do a lot of hauls so people know what's, what's available to buy and where, etc, etc. Because if I didn't keep replenishing my clothes and getting new things, then there wouldn't be any new content, there'd be nothing to blog about or talk about or style up. I suppose when you sound, when you think about it, it is the dream and it's fucking awesome and I'm not complaining, so. So obviously I can't store everything at once. Um, and so every now and then I will have just like one big spring clean sort out of my clothes and I'm very ruthless. I've become more and more ruthless as the years go on. I don't like feeling like I'm owning too much. Like I'll have a lot of stuff and then I'll just, shrink it all down to like minimum. So I'm just gonna be talking about how I do what how I do it, what I do, etc. So first of all, what I do is I like to take everything out of the wardrobe, all my drawers, and I put it in a big pile somewhere. If I'm taking it out from my drawers, I'll put it on the floor. If it's out of my wardrobe, I'll put it on my bed. And so basically I take everything out of its place and I'll put it in one massive pile. And then I'll have some space available for stuff I don't want. And what I do want. Take each picture of clothing, do I want it? Not sure. Put it in the pile that I don't want. Anything I do want to keep, put it in the pile that I do want to keep. Now, how do I decide what clothes I keep and what ones I don't? Have I worn it recently? Mm, no. Have I worn it in the last six months? No. Then it's gone. If I haven't worn it recently, but it's something because there's a particular reason, like it might be like a going out dress, or it might be something like a onesie, or something that, you know, there's a legitimate reason why I haven't worn it recently, because I don't need to wear it. I'll probably keep it. But if it's something that I haven't worn, because in the back of my head I know I'm not gonna wear it, and I have no further use out of it, then I'll get rid of it. Another reason why I get rid of clothes is sometimes I buy clothes, I love what they look like, but on, that it looks fucking shit. And I'll keep hold of it, because I'm just desperate, it to look good on me and me feel good in it and I'll style it well but you know sometimes I'll get to the point where I'm like no I literally haven't worn this it doesn't look good I need to stop living in denial I just need to get rid of it another thing is if it's like overworn if it's really tatty and it just won't it doesn't look clean anymore no matter how many times you wash it the material's gone a bit uh, basically looks worn down. And another point is, can I see myself wearing this again? Obviously that ties in kind of with my first point. Some, for example, I wear knitwear a lot, but I've really condensed that down because I had a lot of jumpers. They take up a lot of space and I just thought about the ones that I wear regularly. And with dresses, so evening dresses, I got rid of some of those because I don't really go out that much to warrant needing that many dresses. So I've, ke I've kept a selection of evening dresses that I, where I've worn and felt really comfortable in and felt really good. Some evening dresses I have look amazing, but I'm not particularly comfortable in them. So I've said goodbye to those because I've worn them before and I'm like, mm, didn't really enjoy wearing that, so I'll see you later. So stuff that I know will come in handy and I'm happy to wear and that I know works, I'll keep. Once I've sorted the piles out into what I want and what I don't want, I'll start to put back the things I want and this is the last opportunity to, to make the deciding factor if I actually want something or not. So as I'm putting the things back in, I might pick up something and go, really, really? Then put it in the I don't want pile. There was a jumper that I really liked and I was gonna keep it. And then as I was putting it back in, I thought, Helen, you're not gonna wear this, are you? And then I have to sort out what goes to charity, what goes to Depop, and what literally goes into the bin. Some stuff, obviously, no one's gonna want it, so I am just gonna get rid of it, put it in a bin liner. That's a very, very, very small percentage of stuff. Then most of the stuff ends up on my Depop, which I'll put the link to my Depop shop down below. And then the other stuff, 
I take to either, I either take to charity or I take to the clothes bank. Moving on to shoes. Now shoes, I am a hoarder of shoes because I am obsessed with shoes. My love for shoes is still, is very strong. But I've had to become really ruthless with my shoes recently. So when it comes to shoes, I think of what's actually comfortable again. What do I actually enjoy wearing? The ones that I can't stand wearing and are really uncomfortable and after a, a 10 minutes of wearing them, I instantly regret it, they're gone. Then if I don't enjoy wearing them and they rub or they're just not giving in, then I'll just get rid of it. You're not really making my life happy, so see you later, say la vie. That doesn't mean see you later. Also again, are they tatty? Are they gross? They're, if the answer is yes, then buy. And then so what I've done is I've kind of sorted out my shoes into like, what shoes I wear like, every single day, they go in one section, and then all the others. You've got a few pairs of evening shoes, a few pairs of flats, a few pairs of trainers, you've got your shoes that you wear all the time, and then you've got your boots. It sounds really, really wasteful talking about getting rid of stuff, but I like to think that the fact that I sell it on or I give it to charity, and a very small amount I chuck out. It's kind of recycling. I don't like the fact sometimes that the amount of stuff that I have, and then I just get rid of it. So I like to know that it's going somewhere to good use. I basically, whenever I sort my clothes out now, I give it to my sister, and she sorts them out into Depop or charity for me. She's a legend, and she's actually managing my Depop for me. But yeah, that's basically how I sort out my closet and why I sort it out. And it's one of those things that you think, oh, I really can't be asked to do this. But once you've done it, you feel so good. You feel like there's a big weight lifted off your shoulders. You feel like you've got room to breathe. It's actually easier to pick out an outfit because there's less to pick from and you're less distracted by other things. And actually feel a lot more like, oh, I can wear this today. So I think that's healthy in that respect too. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. It was really nice talking to you and I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.